Attention all Australians. Tickets for Therapy Gecko Live are finally available in cities all over your beautiful country. I am going to Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and a nice little stop in Auckland, New Zealand. Tickets for these shows are selling fast, so you can get them now at therapygeckotour.com. All right, let's get into the episode. Call from... Daniel. Uh, hello? Hello, how are you? Um, where are you? Are you at the top of a mountain or something? Uh, let me close my window. I'm driving in Perth in Australia. Oh, okay. Can you take me off of... I, can you pull over, please? I, I can't talk to you while you're driving. I don't want to be an accomplice to whatever car accident you will inevitably, be, inevitably get into. All right. What's up, man? You're driving in Perth, you said? Yeah, I'm driving in Perth, yeah. What's going on in Perth? I'm going to Perth uh, soon. Oh, what, sh- what's, so what should good. I know before I go? You should know that. Uh, you got to come soon. We're we're desperate to have you out here. Hell yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited. What's and you guys are like I I've uh, you guys are on the opposite side of most of the other like big Australian places, correct? Exactly. We get left out too often. Okay. Do you? Who's the last like person you saw? What whether it's like a band or a comedian or whatever it is. What's the last like show you saw that came to Perth? Uh, well, we just had a concert or a big event called Groove in the Mood for a big concert, uh, two days ago. Groove in the Move. Okay. Did you, what kind of music was it? Uh, a few different bands. So you had, um, you had some, yeah, some different, different music. Okay. Electric music, indie music, you know what indie music is? Uh, yeah, I've heard of indie music. Yeah, beautiful. And then after the after the the festival, we went home, blazed up, and watched some watched some gek on the couch. <laughs> Watch some gek on the couch. I like that. Man. <laughs> what do you? Uh, are you with somebody right now? It sounds like you're not alone. No, we're we're in a car driving back. There's a few of us. Hey, gek. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? Who? Uh, so, what? What are your? What's? Are you guys homies? Are you in love? What's the deal? Yeah. Yeah, we're in love. Totally. Okay. Well, how do you guys know each other? I'm best mates with his cousin, and we only met oh. this weekend properly. You just met this weekend, and you're already in love. Yeah. That's how it works <laughs> over here. That's, that's <laughs> awesome, man. That's awesome. I'm uh, I'm excited. This will be cool. I ha- so I mean I go to Perth and I have like a couple extra days. Well, just I I set it. I intentionally set it up so that I could like, uh, you know, kind of screw around each each city that I go to in Australia and have enough time to like actually hang out and do some stuff because I've never been there before. What's like the, what's the thing to do in Perth? Yeah, beaches and road trips. Oh, wait, so by now, when you say road trips, are you saying the thing to do in Perth is to leave Perth? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. there's like so much pretty stuff all around Perth. Okay. Are you guys, and here's the thing Australia is so like um, Me- Melbourne, as they say, and Brisbane, as they say, <laughs> uh, and Sydney are all on the um, east side of Australia. And uh, per- and then it's like Perth is on the west side. And in the middle is like the outback, which is like fucking crazy kangaroo crocodile hunter people live, right? <laughs> or no, the bush, right? Yeah. The bush? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out bush. So there's... So, so Australia is already pretty isolated, and then Perth is like isolated from the isolation. So are you guys just going crazy over there? Spot on. Yeah, yeah. Not, you hit the nail on the head. Okay. What do you do for fun? Beaches uh. and road trips. Baby. Beaches and road trips. Okay. I like yeah. that you guys are. I feel like, you know, for a second I thought it was too good to be true that you guys met in a weekend and are already best friends. But if you're. In such an isolated part of of uh, of the world, I could see you. You know, whenever you come into contact with another human being who's you know um, 
has some sense of a, of a functioning brain, why would you not want to be their best friend? There's such a limited, uh, you know, such limited options out there. Yeah. Aussies are like that. Like, if you share a beer, you're already best friends. That's just how it works. I like that, man. What's You guys said you, you smoked up after this, or you're high right now, or you were... You guys stoners? When we, we, we went to the festival, and then when we got back, we, we like, smoked up outside and then came and sat in the couches and watched uh, the episode with you and... Um, uh, Denzel Curry because oh, Denzel cool. was at the festival yeah. Denzel was at the festival oh cool 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 is, is weed legal in Australia what's the deal with that no no it's not okay but they don't like if they caught you with it like, if you had heat they'd probably like like you'd probably get like maybe jail time if you had lots but if you just have enough that it's just like you smoking they'll just give you a slap on the wrist Okay. It's when you've got intention to sell, then yeah, you get in big trouble. Mm. What kind of? Pr- tell me about your drug dealer, because I, I'm just imagining like this, per- Parthesian drug dealer guy to be an insane human being, and I want to know more about him. Um, most of the time it's like, oh yeah, my mate's little sister knows a guy, and that's how we get all of our drugs. Like never okay. ever really that shady. Okay, okay. Hmm. So you two are friends. You just met from your cousin. Where are you driving to right now? Going back home. So we were what two two and a bit hours down south of Perth in this little city called Bunbury, and we're driving back north to Perth. Um, As we speak. Yeah, we're on a what? we're at a pit stop at a at a fuel station. Now, what were you doing in Bunbury? That was where the festival was. Oh, okay. All right. Did yeah. you guys get? Um, did you do anything crazy? Did you, did, you, did you roll face? Did you candy flip? Anything <laughs> gnarly like that? <laughs> um, nah. Like probably the most gnarly thing was the Denzel mosh. That was pretty wild. Okay, you guys, mo- you guys are moshers. Wait, so you guys met? Did you guys go? You two just went. It was just you guys? Oh, no. There was like, what, 10 of us? Yeah, yeah. 10, 12 of us? Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't even... I don't think I have 10 friends. No, that's not true. I have well, 10 no, friends. We can, but... we can be your friend. Yeah, when you, you have okay. 10 friends now. When you, come, okay. when you come to Perth, can we be your tour guides? Dude, if you could, please, man, please. I, I, if, if you can bring all ten of those people, that'd be great. Because I don't know who the hell lives in Perth that listens to this, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to meet them. Yeah, it's done. How do we organize it? Well, shit. I'll be. Uh, I mean, I'll be in Perth. We'll I don't know when you, exactly oh, yeah. I'll be there, but keep keep an eye out on the on the fucking. Did you sub- uh, this? Is, and I'm just plugging myself. But did you subscribe to the? I have to like. <laughs> It's hey, just I'm so funny because I have to just like okay. I have to like one by one convince because uh, there's I I don't know how many fucking people live in Perth that uh, listen to this thing so I have to one by one be like hey did you go to the website and sign up to make sure you know when I'll be there we're all signed up every yeah. single one all of right. us fuck yeah well I'm excited to see you guys all right well enough about me what what um what do you guys do like are you in school are you in um do you work what's the deal. I'm in construction. Okay. And you? Yeah. I'm in I'm in uh, structural engineering. Okay. Construction and structural engineering sound very similar. It sounds like one of you went to yeah. college and the other one didn't. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Spot on. But yet you do the same job. Pretty much. Probably, probably the one that didn't go to uni does more work than the one that did. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you con? Uh, the construction guy. What do you construct? Yeah. Um, I work for a ceiling and wall fixing company, um, and we just finished a job at a new like mental health building at a hospital. Um, and like the company I work for, like builds all the framing and then sheets all the walls. Make sure everything's good. Okay. Um, and then what does a structural engineer do? 
sit on the computer all day and uh, <laughs> just make sure make sure our jobs are jobs are looking pretty smooth. Okay, so you're pretty much like all right. So structural engineer, you're pretty much sitting on the computer playing Sims, and then the construction <laughs> crew, you are you are the Sim. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly it. It's just making wow. sure the building doesn't collapse on your Sims. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, um, what do you do? Is that your guys is when you guys were? How old are you guys? I'm 24. I'm 20. Okay. When you guys were little kids, what did you dream of doing? I I wanted to be a dancer. You wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> I was a professional dancer before I started in construction. Oh, really? What like what kind of dancer? Um, I was like a tap dancer. You were a professional tap dancer before you got into construction. <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking with me? No, no I'm not. Dead, I'm dead, dead, dead serious. serious. I the only thing that stopped me was COVID. It was like a dying, uh, like a dying style industry. of dance. Yeah, like the industry was dead, and then COVID just was the last stab. Mm, okay. What? Um, like, what exactly were you were you doing? How were you making money? Were you like touring with a company or something? Um, I was doing a lot of teaching. Um, just because there wasn't a lot of jobs, but I was in talks with a guy for this musical and like got the job and then COVID happened and the, the show got cancelled. And that was mm. kind of the last straw and I decided I was going to quit and do something that was a bit more um, money reliable. Mm. Do you do you miss tap dancing? Um, sometimes. Hmm. What uh, uh, does any part of you like want to go back? Does any part of you consider like uh, uh, quitting your construction job and uh, trying to get back into the tap dan- the tap dancing racket? Uh, if something really cool came up that just happened to kind of show itself, maybe. But I don't think I'm willing to search for it. Mm, okay. So are you guys, you guys, both, both of you guys seem happy with yourselves. Yeah, oh yeah, we just, had, we just had a great weekend and, and we're looking forward to getting back, back to the reality, I suppose. Man, you're looking, oh, so you're looking, that's fascinating. So you're looking forward to getting back to reality. Uh, <laughs> I suppose so. Yeah, a bit of, a bit of, a uh, bit of a routine. You know, I wonder, like, does being so isolated from everyone, like, I, I, I almost feel like that would make you more, in, in may, maybe in some way, make you more happy than, um, I don't know, living in a place like, like Los Angeles or something where you're, you're hyper connected to everything all the time. Yeah, yeah. I've been to LA once and it was so unbelievably overwhelming that I just, like, would never be able to live there. Mm. What were you doing there? Tap dancing? Uh, <laughs> I actually was. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. What? Wait, when yeah. I cut... Co- okay, when I come to... Uh, when I come to Perth, can you oh, can you fucking tap dance for me? I will come up on stage and tap dance. Okay, I'm... I'm please, I'm a hundred... I am a... By the way, I'm a hundred percent serious. I am so I'm way. fully serious. Do your shoes still fit the one like they? Because you yeah, guys wear special shoes them. with the with the like little, with the tap yeah, shirt little, on it, right? Yeah, two little tap plates. Yeah, yeah. I All have right, like yeah. patent the white ones. They're great. Okay, I'm excited for this. This will be great. Okay, so um, all right. So you used to be a tap dancer, and then what did you do before you were a a uh, uh, structural engineer? Or maybe I'm confusing you guys. No, that, no, 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 that's right. I used to, uh, back in the day, I used to work at McDonald's. <laughs> okay. What do you, tell me about working at, uh, was it in Perth? It was in Perth. Tell me about uh, the clientele of this Perth McDonald's. What kinds of people were were going through your drive-thru every day? 
Um, it depends on what time. So during the day, you just had your standard average, either soccer mums with their kids or um, just people that didn't want to buy their lunches, I suppose. And then at night is when the when the fun came out, I suppose. Everyone either black, baked or out of their bloody minds. And uh, yeah, you didn't want to, you wanted to go home, I'm telling you. What was the strangest or or even most hostile interaction that you had while working there? Oh. Ooh. Um, I remember I got absolutely abused once because um, we made some lady park in the waiting bay. And when I brought out her food when it was ready, she uh, wasn't happy with the size of the bag and threw the food back at me. Uh, I reckon, yeah. I reckon from then I had to walk inside with all this drink and food all over me. I was like, "This is a bit shit, isn't it?" Oops, am I allowed to swear? Yeah, well, you just did, but you are, yes. Oh, sweet, yeah. So that kind of made me want to pack up, I suppose. So it's just like, I don't need this sort of stuff. Hmm. And are you happier now being a structural engineer than working at McDonald's? Yeah, I mean, who doesn't want to play Sims for a living? Oh man, do you construct? What's I don't even know your guys' names, but with a construction worker, are you? Do you hope to one day be a structural engineer, or are you happy being the sim? Well, I'm doing laboring now, so it's like the bottom of the barrel job. So I'm hoping to next year start a apprenticeship to become an electrician, and then do that for a while and see what happens. Nice, nice. Hmm. Yeah. Are you guys? Are you guys uh, uh, dating anyone? Do you have girlfriends, boyfriends, or are you just married to each other? Um, we're we're dating the same girl actually, and she's in the car as we speak. Okay, now you're fucking with me. Oh wait, I just heard a I just heard a girl laugh in the back. You're not fucking with me. Dude, who is this? Who is this girl that's just been silent the whole time? Neve. What's your name? My name's Neve. Say that one more time. Neve. Uh, like, like Eve, Adam and Eve with an N oh, at the start. Oh, Neve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Neve. Neve, why have, uh, have you... Um, Is it true you're dating both of these guys at once? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. No, she's not. I'm not. You she couldn't, de- you couldn't decide between the structural engineer and the construction worker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, it's a tough picking out here. Tough well, I guess it is because, you know, look, one, I think one of you guys is buttoned up and, you know, stable, safe, secure option, which is, you know, it's just attractive. But then the other one is, is you know, the bad boy, the wild card. And that's attractive too. And she's she's caught between both of these compelling offers. Which which one do you reckon is the stable one? Um. Now that I think about it, I'm not so sure about either of you. But. Let me think. <laughs> so wait. So how do you guys know her? Or I'll, I'll talk. I'll ask her. How do you know these guys? So I know the structural engineer from work we used to work together and then i met the construction worker just this weekend okay all right and are you are all three of you in love now yes yes what what do you do neve i work at bunnings which is like a hardware store i work at bunnings bunnings oh you guys are all wait this is crazy so the structural engineer (laughs) Plays the Sims moving around the construction worker who then goes to buy hardware to make the construction from the girl working in the hardware store. It's all connected. It's all connected. Yeah. So literally, life in Australia is a big Sims game. Wow. Well, I can't, I can't wait. Neve, do you have any outside of just uh, uh, road trips and what was it? Road trips and tennis. What was the other thing? Not beaches. 
Oh, beaches and road trips. Neve, do you have any suggestions for cool Perth stuff to do? Um, Rottnest Island. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rottnest Island and um four wheel driving as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Four -wheel we love four wheel driving. driving. Oh wait, you On know I know I know I know something I want to ask you guys about. Uh, I want. How do I see a quaka? I want to see a quaka. That's Rottnest Island. So you catch a ferry. It's like an hour mm -hmm. away, just offshore Perth, and then you can see the quakas. Have you guys? Yeah. For those who don't know, a quaka is like. It's like a really big hamster, kind of. <laughs> yeah, they're like they're like they're like a little uh, teddy bear. And on Rottnest Island, they have no natural predators, so they're just like not scared to go up to you. So you can get right next to them, like cuddle them, and take a photo with them. Oh wow, man! Wouldn't that be great yeah. to live in an suggestion. island where you have no natural predators? Oh, iconic! When you come to Perth. Yeah, we'll get on, we'll get on my boat, and we'll take you over to Rottnest. You have a boat. I've got a boat. Okay, that's that. That's that can structural Gecko... engineer money. Can Gecko swim? Um. Well, apparently this one doesn't have to because he's got he's got an Australian homie with a boat. Yeah, Let's go. We'll strap a life jacket on just in case. That would actually be a good idea. Um. So wait, how do you, how do you, how do, so you guys know each other through a cousin. Neve, how do you know these guys? So I worked with the structural engineer and then I oh, right. met his, yeah, I met his cousin through him. Right, right, right. What's, what's your dream in life, uh, Neve? Um, I don't know. I'm just living. I'm just vibing right now. Man. I li I'm damn. It seems like um, seems like you guys are all uh, happy over there. You're living in the moment. You're on your boats. You're uh, 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 fucking hanging out with with quakas. You got you got yeah. McDonald's over there. Sounds like a good time. No it sounds like a good pace of life. Hundred percent. I'm into it. Well, damn. Well, uh, I hope you guys get to your destination. Are you have you just been driving this whole time? I I haven't heard anything. No, no, no. We've been stopped at a petrol station. Oh, uh, okay. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping. I'll let That's you guys right. get back on with your journey. Um, excited to see you in Perth. I will hold you to it. I fuck, man. I think give me like a week, and I think I'll actually fucking have the show on sale. But uh, yeah, do uh, it. come fucking. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see you tap dance. I'm holding you to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How do we plan to get up on stage with you on tap dance? I'm gonna show you. Oh, the there's like a. It'll, it'll, honestly, it'll, honestly, at any point, at any point, just be like, "Hey, I'm the guy you talked to that offered the tap dance." You, can, I'm gonna give you special permission to yell that out, and we'll we'll do it. Done, done. Can I yell out? I'm the sins worker too. No, only he can yell out. Uh, but, I'm, <laughs> but I've got, I've got the boat. You get All right, the if you boat, let me ride on the boat, dance. you can yell out. Oh, uh, yes, let's go. I'll yell out, I've got the boat. <laughs> Is there anything else that you guys want to say to the people of the computer before we go? Um, shout out to the homies that are listening right now. And we love you, Gek. What are you guys' I only caught ne What are your guys' names? I never got them. Uh, the construction worker is James. James. And the structural engineer is Daniel. Daniel. Man, I, you know, I Daniel's such a buttoned-up name. It makes sense that that's the structural engineer, and James is the is the bad boy construction worker. It just lines up perfectly. It does. Well, thank you guys for calling, man. It was a pleasure talking to you, and I will see you very soon. Sounds good. Thank you, Jack. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Take care, guys. Bye. Well, that was fun. Perth sounds cool. Perth sounds cool. It really is. Go look at a map of Australia. Perth is like all the way on the other side of like uh, all the actual. So I, I, I maybe is it offensive to say the actual cities? It probably is, but whatever, man. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna hang out with a quaka. I'm gonna go to McDonald's. I'm gonna watch this guy tap dance. It'll be fun. Thank you guys for calling. Call from. 
Lily. Hello? Hello? What's up? What's your name? Uh, my name is Lily. Lily. What's up, Lily? How you doing? Um, so today's my 18th birthday. Oh, happy birthday. What are you, are you doing oh, anything thank cool? You. Uh, no, so today's actually a public holiday for me, so I can't actually celebrate, but, um, I thought I'd call, call in. What, what public holiday, where are you calling from, where it's a public holiday? I'm, I'm, I'm from Australia. Oh, cool, man. I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to Australia pretty soon. Yeah, I really want to go to one of your shows. Um, what, uh, uh, what public holiday is it in Australia today? Um, it's Anzac Day. It's what day? Anzac Day is like, um, like, you know, when you like, uh, you know, a war and stuff. Sorry, I don't really know much about the public holiday myself, except for the fact I'm born on it. Um, Anzac Day, how do you, I'll look it up right now. How do you spell that? A-N-Z. A-N-Z. Oh, Anzac A-N-Z. Day. All right. Yeah. Um, Anzac Day is a national day of remembrance in Australia and New Zealand that broadly commemorates all Australians and New Zealanders who served and died in war. Oh, okay. It's like your guys' Veterans Day. Yeah, it's pretty a uh, depressing day to be born on, if I'm being honest. It's like, well, it's like Memorial Day. Uh, no, it's, it's like Memorial Day. Now, here's the thing, and this is, I don't know if this is offensive or not, but I had I didn't know that there was, like, I didn't know that Australia had wars. Like, f- to be, here's the, th- well, because here's the thing, right, is Australia, it's all, the, it's out of the fucking way. It's all the way, it's like an isolated territory. So, no, like, no, no, who the fuck? Who the fuck are you guys no, going you... to war with? <laughs> oh my god, I have to tell you something that's like my favorite fact of Australia. So basically, one day we had a war with emus. With what? Emus? Are you familiar with the big bird that's like native to Australia? You had a war. You had a war with birds. <laughs> yes, and we lost to them. What? You, you had a war? Uh, spell that. Spell that. What? In emu? Emu? <laughs> Emu, yeah, E M U, and then yeah, we basically E-M-U. went to war with them. <laughs> Are you being yeah. serious? So that you went to war with birds? I'm or like, being was there... so dead fucking serious. Like that is my that is the most embarrassing thing about the country I live in. <laughs> Hold on, I'm I'm gonna look this up now. The I'm gonna look up M E M U, Austra- Emu Emu war. war Australia was a nuisance wildlife. Holy shit. No, oh, the, dude. Yeah, okay, the- hold on. If you go, <laughs> dude. If you fucking wait, this is crazy. If you search "emu at emu war Australia" and you go to Google Images, there's just a picture of a guy choking a fucking bird. <laughs> is there? You guys I actually went. I thought you were fucking that. with me. This is true. You guys went to no, war. No, I'm being so fucking serious with you. <laughs> this is a. This is. It says okay. The MU war was a operation undertaken to curb the population of a large flightless bird indigenous to Australia. How many people died? Hold on. Um, aftermath. Let's see how many people died in the MU war. I don't think anybody died. I don't think it was like an actual war. Um, I think what basically happened was a bunch of... Um, People wanted to, like, go to the land and, like, do stuff, but emus were there. So, basically, their solution to that problem was to shoot a bunch of emus, but the emus basically fought back. I think that's what happened. So, you're telling me, and again, look, no offense to any... Uh, no no offense. I know, we, I know that we have a large <laughs> population of Australian veterans that listen to this show, and I don't want to offend them. But it kind of sounds like Australia... <laughs> You know, they they killed a bunch of birds, and then we're like, let's well, have yeah. a day of remembrance for all the people that killed the birds. <laughs> not not specifically them, but yeah, sure. Where that did, did they? You guys have any other wars or just? But it doesn't really seem like uh, a war. It just seems like a. It seems like more of a massacre than a war. <laughs> There's no, but none of you guys died. It was just the birds. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Well, the the birds kind of won in a way, so that's kind of like the good thing, I guess. 
Well, how do the birds win? You are. Well, the emus are very, very strong and smart creatures, so they basically outsmarted them. Look, all I'm saying is if you all I'm saying is if you search emu war Australia and you go to Google Images, it does not look like that bird is winning. <laughs> Fucking huge though. All right. So you were born so you were born on uh the day of Australian remembrance. So is are like the banks closed? What actually happens on this day? Um, not much, like just everything's shut down. So basically I have to celebrate my birthday tomorrow. Um, so uh, yeah, how are you? Crazy. How are you going to celebrate your birthday? I'm going to watch Mario. <laughs> uh, the, the Mario movie. Yeah. <laughs> so now, when a movie comes out, I said when a movie comes out in like France, right? Like a big animated movie, they dub it yeah. over in French. Do when <laughs> a movie when a movie comes out in Australia, do they just like? dub the movie over but give everyone an Australian accent or is it still in, in American English? As much as I would love to see like an Australian like voiceover and hear like Mario say like cunt or something or like mate or something like that um, sadly no. We get the American version. I've heard that c- uh, cunt is a term of endearment in Australia. Yeah it is. Uh, we say it to our friends basically. <laughs> and so, ba- so if you walk up to a random stranger and call them a cunt it's not it's is it still bad no i don't think no i think they'll like not like that but i think if they're like your friend you can be like oh hey you know okay <laughs> do do you call your friends cunts <laughs> no I, I i call them other swear words but that's not really one of them <laughs> what what other swear words do you call your friends <laughs> i don't know um uh i don't know <laughs> Bitch, I guess. <laughs> My friend called well, me that this morning, actually. Your friend called you a bitch this morning. Why did your friend call you a bitch? No, yeah, she, she was like, she was like, happy morning, bitch. Like, you know, no, like, happy birthday, okay. bitch. That's what she said to me. Yeah, happy birthday, bitch. Okay. So, um, yeah. All right. So you live in Australia. Can I ask what? And you don't you don't have to get specific, but like, what part of Australia are you in? Um, I'm part of Western Australia. Oh shit! Is that where uh, are you? Are you in Perth? Yeah, that's where I'm from. Oh hell yeah! I've, I've, I'm 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 <laughs> going to I'm going to Perth soon. Is it? Um, I've heard it's cool. Is it like different from like Sydney and Melbourne and in those places? Um, I would say yes. I feel like we're a lot more um, closed in. If that make any sense. Are you more Australian? Do you think? And less American. I would say yes. <laughs> I feel like okay. you know it would be a culture shock. <laughs> give me like a. I want to. Okay, so like, give me when I go to Perth, I want to make a a, a Perth sh- a, You know the what like a per a per a Perthesian reference that people in Perth would be <laughs> like. Oh, that's a good reference that, that the gecko made. He really knows stuff about Perth. What's a what's a good Perthesian reference I can make when I go there? You could just mention the emu wall. I'm pretty sure everybody will understand that. Does that wait? Is that is that? Uh, <laughs> did, that t- did that take place I don't in know Perth? Well, I don't know really any references to be honest. But that is, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you mention that, everybody would just understand what you mean. But um, is that true? Is that a I thing? That, like, is that like a popular thing? In does everybody know about the emu war? <laughs> yeah, everybody does. All right, everybody I'm gonna does. find a way. I'm gonna find a way to bring it up. Actually, um, we got taught that in school. You did. Okay. I'm, here's what I'm gonna yeah. do: is when I come out on stage, I'm gonna put up a picture on the projector screen of the, of this guy <laughs> killing this bird. And I'm just gonna talk about the picture for the first uh, for the entire show. Um, all right. So, what else? Tell me more. What else is your life like, Lily? Any other cool well, I was, things? I was gonna call in and say, like, you know, how like I'm pretty like, you know, not really feeling my birthday, but like <laughs> I'm actually like pretty happy right now. Okay. Why? Why were you not feeling your birthday? Well, okay, so when, so I'm turning 18, right? 
And I thought when, okay, when I was a little kid, I thought when I was going to turn 18, I was going to like own a mansion and like a, like a, I don't know, <laughs> like, you know, be rich, like be like a millionaire, but like, I feel like that was a very unrealistic goal to set as a little kid because, yeah. you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm like unemployed and, you know, I'm just working normal nine to five job and <laughs> a college, like uni student right now. <laughs> yeah, why did you think know. so? Okay, when you were a little kid and you thought that you would have a million dollars by the time you were 18, what did you how, where did you think they would come from? Uh, I don't, I don't really know. I just thought I'd get lucky, like win the lottery, maybe. Do you ever play the lottery? <laughs> no, <laughs> so you thought you were gonna win the lottery without even playing it. That's the super lottery. <laughs> Is if you win without even putting in a ticket. Um, do they have the lottery in Australia? Yeah, of course. Well, don't say of course. Well, yeah, Why, how I mean, would I know? <laughs> well, you know, it's, you're acting like as if, well, you know, I don't want to like make any assumptions, but you're yeah, acting, make it, Make you whatever know. assumptions you want. I'm making assumptions. <laughs> well, like, I had a friend in America who thought we traveled by kangaroos. So I don't know what you Americans really think about us. Wait, do you guys not? No, we, we travel on trains. Okay. Um, I wa I'm trying. To, I'm trying to have my buddy Photoshop a picture of me in a kangaroo's uh, pouch as part of um, like a tour promo thing. Oh yeah. Um, but now that I know that that's not how you guys actually trans, uh, you know, transport yourselves, and maybe I'll just Photoshop myself into a train. <laughs> Well, um, all right. Knows? What's your dr what's your dream for the future, Lily? What do you want to be uh, um, n in soon? I don't like career wise. Uh, your career, life, anything. Oh, uh, I know it's like cliche in terms of life. I just like hope that the future is much more clear and just I'm just happy. I guess. Okay. What, what do you mean by clear? The future, the I, 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 the future will never be clear. That's the whole point. I, <laughs> I know, but I feel like now, especially in my life, I have a lot of more responsibility because I'm legally an adult now, and okay. I just feel like I don't really even know what I'd want to do as a career, and I'm just, you know, kind of living day by day, and I just, I'm kind of lost, and I just hope that. I just find out kind of what I want in life. Um, well, okay, what you, at this very moment, what do you desire in life? Um, in this very moment? <laughs> uh, yes, or I mean, uh, in this very moment, or I guess in this moment generally. This phase um, of your existence. Well, I guess I just want birthday cake and just have a normal day today. Okay. Well, look, here's the thing is, um, yeah, you know, now that I'm thinking I'm going to get all, um, I'm going to get all motivationally because this is how I'm feeling. The, in this moment, all you desire is birthday cake, correct? So, um, mm -hmm. you know, look, when you're eating your birthday cake, uh, uh, that's the thing. Is, that's what I'm learning. Life is is just a bunch. Oh God, I'm such a douchebag. Life is just <laughs> a bunch of uh, right now, right? So whatever you want right now, mm -hmm. you know, is that's all that matters. God, this is. You know what? What I just said is not true at all. Because if you live like that, you're gonna end up like me eating fucking candy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I already do that. <laughs> what kind of candy? Um, I eat like Mars bars, Snickers. Do you guys have cherry ripe? What a cherry rope? Cherry ripe. Oh, okay. Do you guys have a uh, crunchy? Wait, wait, no, no. I'm not. What, Brother, what is cherry cherry rope or cherry it's ripe? It's like uh, it's cherry cherry ripe. It's like a chocolate and inside is like cherry and stuff. Uh, no, I don't think so. We have we have cherry oh. M and M's. Wait, we don't even have cherry M and M's. I just <laughs> made that up. Um. Okay. Well, are are you gonna? So you're not celebrating your birthday today because it's. it's, mm -hmm. it's I'm just gonna eat like cake and stuff. Yeah. All right. 
What are you going to college? Ah, uh, yeah, I am. What are you gonna study? Um, I'm gonna study probably something in the art field. Currently, what? right now, I'm studying. Huh? Sorry. Go, no, on. go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, um, currently, I'm just studying. Um, it's kind of just like a opening course for people who drop out, kind of like a, a GED. I think that's what you guys call it. Did you Did you drop out of high school? Yeah, I did. Oh, uh, I thought you. So, so you're taking like a GED course. Mm-hmm. Why did you drop out of high school? <laughs> uh, family issues. Okay. Um, do you? How do you feel about that decision? Now, do you? Are you glad that you um, made it? Yeah, I mean, I dropping out of high school. I think that was. The only regret I had was not seeing my friends again. But mm. honestly, I I have so many opportunities in Australia to, um, you know, still have a good career. So I'm not too stressed about it. Um, and so you want to, you want to have a career in the arts of some kind. Mm-hmm. What kind of art? Like drawing. Yeah, I wanna um. It's like way in the future, but one day I want to like own my own clothing store. Okay, rock and roll. That's a cool. That's a cool um, thing. Do you? Are you like into fashion? Yeah, I am hugely. What? What is your like? Are you into shoes, hats? What's like the? <laughs> I'm into everything, thing? basically. Okay. Um, so you want to own your own? clothing store that's cool what's the what's the fashion industry in australia like um for the most part not too bad it was pretty boring <laughs> um what are you are there a lot of like art fashion school places in uh in in um, australia well we don't have like the top schools like you know art isn't really like seen as much as a career here if that makes sense like specifically where i'm from um so if i wanted to really go to like a really good prestige like art school i would have to travel outside where i live but uh yeah we do have like art courses and you know i could still study fashion here so um but it isn't like as you know as good as i would want it to be but you know so you say that is where that you are from. So you said that like so specifically in Perth, uh, art is not seen as like mm -hmm. a is like a real career. Yeah, like we're kind of really working class, and you know people go on to study to be a lawyer and uh, you know doctors and I'm not saying that's bad. Like I feel like that's really really cool, um, but I just wish where I was from art uh, was taken a little bit more seriously. I guess. But, you know, it's what it is. I don't really care. Well, I feel like uh, art and stuff, it's all on the computer, right? Like, if you made a clothing brand, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you it wouldn't it would you wouldn't just sell stuff in Perth. You'd sell stuff everywhere, right? So, I mean, this it almost, the mm -hmm. whole idea of art being taken seriously in one part of the world or not, it's all... It, it's all... Uh, 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 Inter we live in an interconnected global uh, <laughs> uh, uh, universe now. So I feel like mm -hmm. uh, art is taken seriously in that interconnected universe. Yeah. Well, you're right. Like, it, things are much more accessible than it probably was, like, years back. And I am very grateful for that, to live in, like, a modern society. Um, and I definitely... But, you know, I think there still are risks being taken when it comes to online stuff. Um, but, you know, that, that's way in the future. And um, I just, you know, when it comes to being successful, especially in art, it's, you know, I feel like even if I did do art, it would still take some time for my career to be set off because, you know, there's so many... <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to, like... It just 
I, I have an idea. Um, yeah, I'm trying to word it in a way that makes sense. You should you should draw this picture of the guy strangling an emu and put it on a shirt. I would buy that shirt. Could I give it to you on the tour? Yeah, that'd be sick. Come here? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I'm fucking coming. I don't know where in Perth, but I'm coming there somewhere in in July. Um, no, yeah, yeah, hell yeah that'd be gonna... sick. What well, are sorry? Are there still <laughs> emus? Are there still emus running around? Or do you guys get rid of all of them? Um, there are. <laughs> there definitely are, but they're like way in the outback. So, have did you ever go to the outback? I've heard it's gnarly. Um, uh, it's kind of dangerous, so not really. I mean, I kind of have, kind of haven't, so I don't know. Um, is it, are, are kangaroos dangerous? Uh, depending on the kangaroo. Depending on the Sometimes, kangaroo. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, because, you know like, I think kangaroo, kangaroo Jack is? <laughs> yes, I do. Really? You know who Kangaroo Jack is? I feel like that, uh, <laughs> how old is that fucking movie that... It's kangaroo. <laughs> Very old. Okay. Well, um, um, you know how you said that yeah. uh, people that people will ask ask you if uh, folks in Australia get around on kangaroos. Do you? Ha- is there anything like that for uh, Americans that you th- like? Do you think that we g- get around on hamburgers? Like, what's your <laughs> version of that? Well, I do think that every American carries a gun, but I don't know if that's true. Oh, I'm bringing mine to Australia. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know how well you get in, so good luck. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna kill some kangaroos. I've heard kangaroo meat is great. <laughs> you can get it in the shop. Yes, it is very great. I've tasted it. No, I don't have a gun, and I don't plan to kill any kangaroos. Um, unless <laughs> okay, if, good. <laughs> unless if one threatens me, in which case I will have to defend myself. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, no, I think you're going to be fine, Lily. Um, I mean, you can do, you can do anything, I think. Um, I don't know that, I don't know if, I don't know that for sure, though. I don't know how reassuring any of what I just said was. Has this phone call been helpful to you at all? Uh, It's it's made my birthday day. (laughs) Okay, great. Um, what do you, uh, do you like, uh, uh have do you do, on your how big of a birthday person are you some people are like it's my birthday month you know and they're like that big or <laughs> how 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 into um, your own birthday are you i'm just like i just celebrate the day and that's pretty much it <laughs> um well if i can if if i can just say this i'll say this i'll be serious for a second um okay you know lily i think you're it sounds it sounds as though you're disappointed because um you were hoping for clarity today right you wanted um you know like you said for things to be more clear but uh here's mm-hmm. the thing here's what you you find out is um clarity d- it doesn't exist you'll never ever get it and so, is that reassuring? Um, and so, and so, uh, is it reassuring? I don't know. Maybe it'll make you want to stop searching for it. I mean, that's, not, that's I don't know if it's point. necessarily true that you'll never get clarity. You might get like a little bit of clarity, but you'll never receive ultimate eternal clarity. Or maybe you will. I mean, I'm, I'm dumb. I don't know anything, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think if I've ever gotten clarity. My life feels extremely unclear, but I also, I picked a weird thing to do. Um, I mean, yeah, if you wanted to, I mean, you also picked a, you also picked a weird thing to do. Um, like, cause, <laughs> right. Cause if you were going to be a lawyer or a doctor or something, you'd have more clarity. You'd be like, all right, I'm going to go to uh, law school and then do my residency. And then in 10 years mm-hmm. from now, I, I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, I'll be cutting open people. Um, and I'll be trained to do that, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but even, but even then there's like, you know, there's, unc- there's, there's, 
a lack of clarity in your personal life and your relationships and your and your feelings about about how you're gonna feel once you're in certain places and I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I'll stand by that for now. That clarity is sort of unattainable. Or or maybe it's a recurring... Maybe clarity is like a recurring process. Like you always... Every every day you get a little bit more clarity. I feel that. Every day I get a little bit more clarity. But there's no like final clarity of like, yep, I know everything. Uh, I, I can see my entire past and make make sense of it. I can see my entire future and make sense of it. And I feel completely content and at peace forever. I don't know if that exists. Well, Maybe it does. I, I, haven't seen, I haven't felt it personally, but... All right, how know. helpful well, was this just conversation? Just to add on to that. <laughs> really helpful, but I just want to add one more thing. I guess if there was 100% clarity in my life, I don't think it would be as exciting. Exactly! Exactly. <laughs> And um, I think maybe it's the bad days and the good days that make me and my future so much better. Who knows? Good. <laughs> good. I mean, in Australia, you can just have like a fucking spider bite you and then you're done, right? <laughs> exactly. So you live every day like it's your last, I guess. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I feel I feel more clear now. Yay. <laughs> um... Well, Lily, it was nice talking to you, man. Um, f- you have a whole day ahead of you. It's like it's like the morning where you are. Yeah, it is. I gotta go eat breakfast. Uh, well, have fun eating um, breakfast. And uh, is there anything else you want to say to the people of the computer before we go? Um. Well, I just want to say thank you for making my birthday so much more brighter and thank you chat i guess <laughs> i haven't read it so but yeah thank you rock and roll <laughs> happy birthday lily and um <laughs> i'll see you around the universe man take care see you in perth okay see ya <laughs> i'll see you there right. i'll bring you a t-shirt see ya. that'd be sick that'd be sick <laughs> okay see you lily call from dave Dave. Yo. You What's up, man? Get on. You did. What's going on? Just getting some tacos right now, man. How you doing? What kind of tacos? Well, I'm actually on a run for my dad, so I don't know if you know what cabeza and lengua are. So it's head meat tacos and tongue meat tacos. Oh. Well, which one's better? Uh, I personally don't like both that much, but if I had to choose, probably tongue meat. Okay. Dave, I... Uh... Is there anything in particular you wanted to talk about today? Well, there's a couple of things. I don't know if I could go on a whole spill right now. What is... You, you You have to turn your TV off before you do that. What is? What was that? That was a taco stand. <laughs> okay. I'm literally out in public. I didn't expect to get in. Sorry if it's, like, super chaotic right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, you wanted to go on a whole thing? I got time for a whole thing. Hit me with your whole thing. All right, you got time for a whole thing? So, yeah. I don't know, man. Uh... I'm in a weird dilemma. Is it about a girl? About no, not about a girl. All right. But it's just like it's just a, like general life direction thing, you know. So it's like yeah. Again, I'm 22 years old. I didn't go to school, and then I decided to play music and be in a band and do a bunch of nice. haggard shit. Nice. And it's been. It's been a pretty positive experience. It's turned out really well for me. I got a tour that I'm going to be doing in Europe. Oh, fuck yeah, brother. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm like, but then at the same time, uh, you know, I kind of kind of have a weird like look back where it's like, uh, is this uh, is this stable? Is this something I want to keep doing? Do, should I just keep doing like shitty jobs or should I go to school and do the whole, you know, walk the path that's already there? Okay, so you're on a tour. Wait, so you're going on a... It sounds like the music's going well. You're about to tour Europe. Yeah. Yeah, the thing, the whole Europe deal, it's like... I actually hopped on with a band that's, like, already pretty well established. They're, like, an 80s band. So, <laughs> yeah. But, so, you know, are you... Are, are you a solo music... Are you a solo artist, or are you with... You're with a band? You joined the band? I'm with a band. I, I, like, I do mostly punk music. Nice. Are they your homies? 
or like yeah. you meet them on, yeah, like, yeah, on the Craigslist? Yeah, yeah, a bunch of friends. Yeah, I'm like I'm blessed to like live in an area where it's just a bunch of friends and everyone gets along and we all hook each other up. Well, that sounds fucking sweet. So you're just debating like, ah, should I, um, like go yeah. find a more stable job? Yeah, I mean that, or just I don't know. Just, it's also just in terms of lifestyle, and I mean I I like like to play a music lifestyle you know but it's also like well i don't want to like end up being a burnout either you know um i'm gonna tell you something um you're gonna fucking die are you aware of that true. very true you're gonna die you're gonna die you could die tomorrow <laughs> dude i have no idea you're gonna yeah. it sounds like i'm threatening you you're gonna <laughs> die i'm gonna find you i'm gonna kill you no i'm not <laughs> uh or i might you don't know you don't know what the fuck i could do i'm sorry all right. Uh, I, I I got so into telling you I was going to kill you that I forgot everything yeah. else I was going to say. Okay. Come on, man. Um, you're, you're only you're 22. Here's the thing. If you were 47 and had two children and a wife and you wanted to abandon all of them to right. uh, go tour uh, in Europe with a band, I mean, God bless you. <laughs> but it would be yeah, it would be a, a way yeah be tougher <laughs> deal than right now. I mean, you don't you don't have a fucking girlfriend or a wife uh, or I'm, kids no, or you don't have any of that shit. Dude, now, what the fuck are you yeah. talking about? Yes, go hang out with your band and go to Europe. When are you yeah. ever gonna be able to do this shit again? You well, can go to I'm school go to whenever. What are you? I I'm, I want you to <laughs> go. Ahead. No, go ahead. Tell me your thought. Tell me. Tell me your. Yeah, thing. I mean, I'm gonna go to Europe regardless. But it's like you know what's next after. I mean, I know what I'm gonna do next after that. I'm still gonna be playing music and all, but it's like you know, it's tough to. Uh, eran tres tacos. Um, hold up. Yeah, give me a minute. Um, um, and, and un 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 más para um, para mi zapo, por favor. Oh, wait, zapo's frog. Wait, what? <laughs> uno 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 más para mi zapo. Para mi, I don't. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, you gotta tell me. I don't know what I'm saying either. I'm, I I, I tried to learn how to speak beginning. Spanish. I uh, you know what? Order your tacos. I'll be here. <laughs> so yeah, I mean after after Europe, I'm I'm doing a, another band with my best friend that we're gonna see where it goes. It's not anything solid yet. We got some solid musicians working with us. Oh fuck! Sapo means toad. I thought it meant gecko. All right. Oh, yeah. So you're just you're like you're scared of the future. Of like well, what yeah, you're gonna do honestly, next? Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I do have some anxiety towards the future. T- take your hands off your phone again. Anxiety of the future, gag. Well, all right. Let me tell you. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna motivate you right now because look again. <laughs> you could. You could literally. All you. All you have to do is eat enough food so that you don't die, and right. not go to jail, <laughs> and not get anyone pregnant. Do yeah, those and three things and you're fine. Yeah, you make it sound really fucking easy, man. I know, I know it's, by the way, I know it's not. Okay, if it were that easy, yeah. I wouldn't have anxiety. I have anxiety about what the fuck I'm going to do with my life all the time. So I, I don't, you know. Um, yeah. But this is the stuff I wish I was, I was, I internalized. And um, and I haven't internalized it, but I'm telling it to you because maybe if you hear it from me, you'll internalize it better. Like, you... Well, I mean, now's the time. If you want to do this shit, now is the time, right? Like, right. you have no obligations to anyone else. Why? Why, why not? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it. But I don't know why there's this other fucking like other side of me that's just like staring at me and fucking combating that a little bit sometimes. You know, I mean, I don't let it get to me too gnarly, but it's like, huh? Is it? I don't know. I, I again, just like thinking about the future too much. No, live while you can. I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you want to go to school for? I would want to go to. I mean, so I'm in between going to school for like mycology, which is growing mushrooms, or um, some kind of psychotherapy. But if I was to become a psychotherapist, I would want to be a psychedelic psychotherapist. <laughs> you don't need a degree to grow mushrooms. I don't. I actually learned how last year. All right. So what the hell are you? 
<laughs> go be go to your go to go spend look from 22 to 30 go be a fucking burnout rock and roll superstar dealing drugs across and pl- and playing gigs across the world um you know do your thing yeah go be yeah. crazy thanks gag i kind of needed that yeah i feel like you're gonna die and it's gonna it's gonna be my fault now <laughs> no I, i'm pretty i'm pretty uh i'm pretty haggard but i'm pretty safe with it i think I'll say this. I'll say this. I do believe that any time you want to pursue a uh, stable, normal thing, st- stability will be there. Um, For sure. It'll be there at all ages of your life. But right now, it's like it's the perfect time to go fuck around. That's true, right? So go, like, so go like, fuck around. Stability lifestyle is always going to be there, and you, like, but the time to act like an idiot isn't always there. I, I can tell you're a punk rock motherfucker. Go be that. <laughs> you're eating pig heads and playing music and. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Are you do you like drugs? Do you you like mushrooms? Are you a cocaine I guy? Like um, I, yeah, I do dabble in like a good amount of drugs, but I, I'm right. yeah, most like drinking some acid. And, Go to uh, Europe, drink some acid, do cocaine, sleep with a hooker. <laughs> Your job will be... You can grow mushrooms when you're fucking 50. Very true. Very, very true. But it's like... I don't, I don't know, man. It's, um... It's just a conflicting thing. There's also, like... I guess, like, my family that I think about sometimes, but they're not... Not like... Oh, they're against it or anything. Like, they're fucking... They're super fucking cool, too, but... I don't know. Your, your, yeah, but your family is, doesn't. Your your family doesn't have to live your life. You're you're the only one that has to be in your body and exist in your surroundings. That's very true too, man. I don't know. Might have to eat some mushrooms on it again or something. Yeah, it's very funny that um, you know, so in your sober world, but you as a sober man, a gecko told you to do cocaine. And then you're going to do mushrooms. Yeah. And I don't yeah. know what I'm trying to say right now. All right. Um, no, that's a trip. <laughs> what's your name again? Dan? Dave. David. Dave. Yes. Uh, was this conversation helpful or do you think I've destroyed you? No, this is a awesome conversation, man. I'm stoked they got in. You're Good. the best. Dude. I started listening to you. You know how I started listening to you, actually? You're how? like... My background noise. Um, I'll like listen to your podcast while I'm doing like mushroom work, and it's like nice. it's good to listen to. <laughs> it's I'm like, bro, it's like I'm speaking into your mushrooms, and my yeah. my gecko words, em, you know, emanate through the the roots and into the people's brains when they eat them. Yeah, yeah, dude, you're, there's gonna be a geck mushroom agenda going on. I like that, man. Well, goddamn! I, I, you know, here's the thing: is I wish I could follow any of my own advice that I tell people on this fucking podcast. So I'm gonna listen to what I'm telling you. I'll do that for you. All right. <laughs> All right. You have a good one, man. Is there anything else you want to say to the people at the computer, or to me, or to Charlie Sheen before we go? Um. Well, keep on, keep on, keeping on, man. Goddamn. Do a line for me, baby. I'll talk to you soon. I like that guy. I think he's going to do. I think he's going to do good in life.